from littlebluedeerdesign.com and today I'm going to quickly show you how to add a Google AdSense ad unit to your WordPress blog. A lot of people like to use Google AdSense. Um, it's a little program that shows display ads on your blog and you can make a little bit of money. Um, so it's fairly simple to do and the end result is I'm going to show you what it looks like um, on an actual blog post. I've chosen to put my ad here on the my blog sidebar, but uh, you can see what I'm talking about is these display ads, okay? So you can't control what displays. Generally, generally, Google does a very good job of picking um, appropriate ad content that has something to do with your site um, or your blog. A lot of times I get like Saks, which I love, um, kind of glamorous ads and then a lot of times too I get ads for um, web design and that type of thing since I'm a web designer. Google's using the content on my site already to determine which ads are going to show up. So fairly easy to do. You do need a Google account for this. Um, you are going to go to adsense.google.com okay and then you're going to sign in, which I've already done. Once again, you need um, a Google account. And I am not in this tutorial going to walk you through the setting up of AdSense, okay? Um, it walks you through when you sign up. You can click the Sign Up Now button. It will take you through the steps. All I'm going to show you in this tutorial is how to implement the AdSense code into your WordPress blog. This tutorial is not going to tell you how to sign up for AdSense because it's pretty easy to figure out. Um, and if you have any questions, definitely this is a product from Google. Um, they offer pretty decent customer support. So assuming that you have your AdSense set up, um, you can enable auto ads. And I'm actually not going to talk about auto ads today, but I'm going to explain the difference. Auto ads will populate, you put a chunk of code in the footer of your site. It varies on different themes where this code goes, but auto ads mean that ads will appear pretty much anywhere. Wherever they can appear, they will. Um, oftentimes above or below the header, um, oftentimes within the post, um, generally in the footer, etc. Wherever uh, sort of Google feels that they will fit, um, and also dependent upon your theme, they will show up. So you don't have a ton of control over auto ads. That's why I don't like to use them myself, but you probably will make more money because a lot more ads appear on your site. It just depends. Um, but I just wanted to share that there's an option for auto ads. Today, I'm just gonna tell you about ad units. Ad units are specific ads that you can choose to put into your site and they will only show up in those specific places so your site's not overrun with ads, which some people want. That's perfectly fine. This isn't that. So you can create a new ad unit. Um, I like text and display ads because they're prettier. I'm gonna give it a name, new ad. And generally you wanna choose the responsive text and display ads I've already chosen. And then you can choose your ad style. Um, I always just go for the default. You could also choose minimalist. I'm not big on the blues. There's colorful neon, etc. cetera. Um, I think minimalist is generally, generally the best. Um, so I'm gonna click copy and edit. All right, no I'm not. And then you can choose here, you can set your border colors, your background, I leave to white. You can kind of play around with these a little bit and then you can click save. I'm sorry, you need to add a style. I don't usually do a custom style, but you can if you want to. Um, I'm gonna save the ad style and then you're gonna scroll down. You can expand custom channels. You can leave this alone and then you can also choose if no ads are available, collapse the ad unit, otherwise show blank space. I choose collapse the ad unit. I don't want a lot of blank space on my blog. Anyway, so you can fool around up here once again in the ad style area. I don't think it makes a lot of difference because we'll come back over here 
and you can look at this ad, this is just a full box. The display ads are display ads created by the advertiser. So like Wix created this display ads and none of my styling would even have showed up. So I leave all that alone really. Um, anyway, now all you have to do is come down here and click save and get code. And then here's the code. Now, all you have to do is highlight this code, click Command or Control C to copy it, and then you're going to copy it. And now you're going to come right over and go to Appearance, Widgets in your dashboard. Now this is going to totally depend upon your theme, um, where you want your ad to appear, but for the sake of this tutorial, we're going to have our ad in the sidebar. So what you want to do is add the custom HTML widget to your sidebar. I already have it added, so I'm not going to add it again, but you want to click and drag custom HTML into your sidebar. I've got it here. And then all you want to do is just paste the code right in. And then all you have to do is click save. And it can take a, a little while for the ad to start showing up. Usually it shows up pretty quick. And then you can see I've got this in my sidebar. I happen to have this um, under an image I have called want some. So you can see there's my want some and this is where the code's going to appear. So you can fool around with the code. There's just a pen and I have a lot of different widgets on my blog. Um, you know, you can put it in a footer. Uh, most blogs have a header right or a before header widget if you want to add it there. It just depends on a you know, your blog theme and where your widget areas are. But basically all you're going to do is copy your AdSense code that you got over here in AdSense, paste it into a widget, save it, and voila. And then, um, I haven't been using this all that long, so I don't have a ton of uh, money in my account, so I'm not even going to go there. But you'll be able to see um, how your ads are performing, and when you reach the threshold of $100, you will get a payment from Google. So even if this takes a while, you know, three months, six months, whatever, you'll still get a nice check for $100 from Google. And, uh, you know, the sidebar ads aren't too obtrusive. I'm testing it out myself. But that's how you add them. I have many, many WordPress tutorials at littlebluedeardesign.com backslash WordPress hyphen tutorials. So definitely check back over at my site to view some of these and check out some of my other videos on YouTube. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave me a comment below. Thank you.